What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I got a story I want to share with y'all. A lot of people say, Truth, open up the notebook. This is a story that I think is a crazy story. And I want y'all to hear this story to just to show you how dangerous these communities and dangerous these hoods is. And the shit is even in the suburbs. I interviewed a guy by the name of Ye Ye White, Yaya White. A lot of people know him. He's known as a legend in like Chicago and in like Maywood. You know, a lot of people know this guy. Uh, he was like the muscle behind Lufo. Uh, he was real close to GBE Capo. So we know him from like the GBE Capo shit. Excuse me how the phone moving because it's a lot of sun. I'm trying not to get the sun in y'all face. But yeah, this guy named Ye Ye White. A lot of people know him cool with GBE Capo. He was real close friends with Capo. I interviewed him a few times when I was doing phone interviews. This is one of the rare times with some crazy wild shit happening, right? You know, uh, I interviewed Ye Ye White over the phone. I never met him in real life, but I interviewed him over the phone. Uh, we talked about a lot of shit. We talked about Lufo, uh, some of the beefs Lufo was getting involved in. Uh, we talked about GBE Capo. He told me a lot of things about Capo, you know, Capo that be with Chief Keeping him and shit like that. Uh, I interviewed him. And the next day, actually, I interviewed him twice. The first interview we did, did good. Then I interviewed him the second time. This just to show you how fast the killings and how people, you know what I'm saying, could lose their life real fast and this shit, man. I interviewed this guy. The next day, he asked me, look, when I interviewed the guy, the same day when I interviewed him, later on that night, he DM'd me again. And he asked me, uh, bro, let me see the interview before you drop it. You know, and I'm like, all right, no problem. I'll let you see if I drop it. I edit the interview up. I'm ready to drop it the next day. I got the interview queued up. i ready to drop it. I sent him the link for him to, uh, I, 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 no, I don't send him the link. I message him on the phone about, you know, uh, the video ready, bro. Check it out. Like he not looking at it and shit. And damn, that shit taking all damn day. I DM him on Instagram, bro, uh, check out the video, let me know if it's okay and shit so I can get ready and drop it. I'm waiting on him all day, man. That man wouldn't hit me back, tell me, man, it's okay as a go. I like the caption in the video, cool, gone as a go. I waited all day, man. Can you believe he ain't hit me none that day? I was mad as hell that yeah, yeah. I mean, what the fuck, man? I the interview, bro, bro, slowing me down, man. I gotta drop the interview out and preview it. Everybody waiting on the interview and shit, man. What the fuck, damn, man? Yeah, he done played me, man. What the fuck, man? I ain't fucking with niggas no more. You know how you be, I'm on set and shit, right? The next day, he still ain't answered. I'm hitting him again. The next day, he ain't answered. Now, you got to understand that it skipped me that, you know, well, I can't say it skipped me. They didn't promote it, you know. you know his, That shit didn't get promoted to a couple days later so somebody posted that Ye Ye White was killed. Man, do you understand? I interviewed this guy, and I was DMing him for him to hit me back all along. He was dead. Like, on some real shit, that just show you how fast the violence happened. I interviewed a guy, and he was murdered the next day. He had nothing to do with our interview. He actually was killed in Maywood. Um, and it's crazy just to show you that he was really out here in the streets. Like, you know, he was connected to a lot of shit, man, from Lil' Fonium to he was connected to Lil' Fonium to a lot of people. Oh, I got some white on my mouth. He was connected to a lot of people from Lil' Fo to Capo, the Glow Gang, to a lot of West Side shit, man. So, you know, I don't know what happened. Might have been some personal dispute shit, man. But that just show you how fast the violence happened, you know. That was one of the first times that happened. And I remember I told you I interviewed TB and I asked to speak to Poppy and I didn't know that Poppy was killed like a couple days before when I interviewed TB. So, and then I interviewed FBG Cash and before I dropped the interview, he was killed, you know, so that's like the third time something like that happened, man, just to show you how fast the shit in the hood happened, man. Something can happen at the snap of a finger, man. I wanted to share that with y'all, man. But I want y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I done kind of been on a pause. We've been shooting this movie. We finna get ready and premiere it. Um, I'm gonna premiere the movie. The movie actually drops October 1st. It's called Ops. Uh, it's an all-star cast, man. It's a all. I got an all-star cast. Not the most of them. I got like three dope drill rappers in it, man. I got an all-star cast, though. An all-star director on the film. It's called Ops. The film gonna be two dollars. Now, Truth Teller don't be asking y'all for nothing. I understand it's hard out here. Keep your donations to yourself. I don't want no cash shops or none of that shit for you. But I'm gonna need your support. 
on this movie here, man, just because it had a budget. The actors had to be paid. We needed a location. The cameraman got to be paid. Marketing got to be paid. There got to be a lot of artwork and shit done. So we got to get some of that money back to continue making more movies and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to need your support. The movie going to be on Vimeo, man. So I'm going to have the links on my YouTube channel and everywhere for y'all to click it, support it. You can spend eight quarters for Truth Teller. It's going to be a dope movie. Um, we've been on the pause, but our interview is going to start back dropping Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to start hitting them across the head with the interviews. It's a lot of shit in the culture been going on. We want to know what's going on. We ain't asking no soft questions, no none of that shit. We want to know the truth. It's a lot of shit been trending in the culture the last two weeks. And truth teller them been in the back. So I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's the homie truth.